I realize there are a lot of news articles about the Android 12 update going around, but not everyone has been able to upgrade to this version yet. This update comes packed with a ton of features, with one popular feature being the ability to adjust the, Scott, the size of a picture-in-picture -picture window. Now, what about everyone who is still on Android 11 or earlier? So, in today's video, I'll be showing you a hidden feature that allows us to use an application in a picture-in-picture -picture type window, but a window that can be adjusted and have the size increased a lot bigger than the baked-in picture-in-picture window. Now, I'm still on Android 11 as my daily driver. The Poco F2 Pro is running Lineage OS 18.1. And while the folks behind the custom ROM are getting closer to an Android 12 release, I think this tip would be helpful to all those who are still running an older version of Android, like myself. This is the picture-in-picture -picture window that you are most likely familiar with. We can adjust it a little bit, but this is the limit that we can increase the size of that picture-in-picture -picture window. So what if you want to make something that is a lot bigger? Well, to begin, we first need to enable developer mode. This is, not, this is something that I have covered extensively in the past, so I won't detail how to do it here. Instead, I'll be including a link to one of those guides in the video description below. So if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, be sure to check out that video. Now, once we enable that, we're gonna go into the develop, hidden developer options menu. And this location of where this is at differs depending on which OEM ROM you are using. If you want to just search for developer options though, you can do that with the search. Now when we get here, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom basically, and then just look up a little bit. You should see a toggle labeled Enable Freeform Windows. And what this does is once, once enabled, it enables support for experimental freeform windows. Once we enable that, we're going to need to do a restart. So that these changes can go into effect and Android can load that setting with all of the available apps that can be run in a new picture-in-picture -picture type window. Once the device has been restarted, we can go ahead and open up an application that we want to test this new picture-in-picture -picture type window out in. And then once that's open, we're going to bring up the Recents menu so that we can tap on the icon above the application we want to test this feature out on. So in this example, we're going to use YouTube. So we're just going to open up YouTube and then tap the YouTube icon in the Recents menu. If we have enabled that feature before we do this, we should see this new Freeform option available. And once we tap on Freeform, you're gonna see that application shrink its window to a box that looks like this. Now we can tap the top bar, just like a regular window on Windows or Mac. We can tap and press that top bar to move it around. But we can also resize these windows as well. So you can see we are now able to increase the size of a picture-in-picture -picture window using this freeform feature built into Android 11 Android 10, and earlier. 
Now the application will work just like normal. It's going to act as if the application is running in a window, which means that we can move it around. We can resize it. And we can scroll through that page like normal. When you're done with this, we can tap the freeform window icon, which is next to the X. And that will bring the app back into full screen page, full screen mode, which again, we can jump back into freeform mode with a simple tap. And when you're done, we can simply tap the X to close out that window. Now this works with any application. It's not just YouTube. Since we have enabled this feature in the developer options area, it is going to force this feature on all of our available apps. However, since it's forcing this feature, there are some times when this is just going to be buggy. You could see some in some instances, the app will crash if it is not able to render the application window properly. But for the most part, we're able to use this just like a regular picture in picture window. This feature is also baked into Android 12. So if you want to force some apps to work in a picture in picture type window with Android 12, you are able to do that. But for the most part, I can see this feature being most useful for those who are on Android 11 and earlier.